Hi, welcome to Max8 tutorial number 7, Presentation Mode. The title you're seeing, by the way, is Max in Presentation Mode. As interesting that, as that is, let's go back to our last patcher that we were working on before. I'm going to use this patcher. It's a little um, uh, timer that we made that could uh, utilize a U menu, that's this thing up here, to select a time. You select the time, let's say 10 seconds for the sake of argument, and then it changes the color and attributes of things. And then when we push this and start the metronome, we get essentially 10 seconds, three, um, and then eventually this here uh, light will blink at 10 seconds. Will it? Yes, it did. And then everything shut off. That's fantastic if you're a Max programmer, of course, and you understand what all these doohickeys, and I use that term loosely, what all these doohickeys are doing, but your average person won't. So, since Max is a programming environment, we are going to make a graphic user interface that others can understand, something that's simple. So, here we go. We'll come down here and we're going to learn about presentation mode. And that is this little icon here. And when you put your mouse over it, you see it even says presentation mode. Fantastic. Let's click the button. Oh my god, my patch disappeared, but now it's back. Presentation mode only shows you the objects that you have selected to show in presentation mode. So let's unclick it and figure out how to show an object in presentation mode. First, let's unlock our patcher, which uh, is command E on a Mac or control E, I believe, on a PC. And we can open the inspector here. And I'm even going to move it, uh, the inspector over a little bit so I can see more of it. OK, so um, what are the, well, let's decide what we're going to put in presentation mode here. We can pick any object, let's say the, the U menu object, and we'll change it to, uh, let's, let's change it to timer in all caps so that we can be excited when we actually see it. Okay, so we're going to, I did that I, and I clicked outside it so I could stop typing. Now I'm going to click on it again to select the timer, the comment. And then I look over here. Uh, in my inspector, and I see include in presentation. I click it, and I notice that if I go back here and click outside the comment box now, you'll see that it's in pink, and that's or kind of pinkish brown, okay? That's telling you that this object is included in presentation, while this object and actually all the other objects are not. Okay, so let's just check the reality of that. We can go down here and click presentation mode, or if you would like to know the shortcut for that, it is option command E on a Mac. I have no idea what it is on a PC. Sorry about that. Um, and now you can see that everything has disappeared except timer. Now, interestingly, we're in presentation mode, but we're still unlocked you can lock your patcher in presentation mode, and then it looks really clean. That's Command-E or Control-E on a PC. And you can unlock it. So let's observe another thing here now. It is unlocked, and it is in presentation mode. And we can move it over here. You can also do a number of things um, a number of other things. I'll get to those later. So now let's go back and forth between presentation mode and patching mode. If I click this, it goes back to patching mode. So the object moves back where it was, but in presentation mode, it moves over there. I can move it in presentation mode anywhere I want. When it goes back to patching mode, it goes where it was, and when it goes to presentation mode, it goes back. Um, sometimes this is important to know. I personally like objects to stay where they are for most of the time, that 
So I, I build my patches so they're sort of in the same places in presentation mode. Other people don't do it that way. So let's go back to patching mode <clears throat> and decide what things we want to put in our presentation. Well, if it's going to be a timer, we need our title. There's our title. We want this, um, which is going to tell us how long it runs. So I'm going to go ahead and click yeah, include that in presentation mode. We don't need the preset because that's actually controlled by the U menu. So we don't need that. Um, so we know it's going to uh, go for 10 seconds. We need something to turn it on. And that could be this X or it could be something else. Well, what if we um, just learn some more objects here and say um, let's just make a message that says start all in caps we like all caps and then the start um, is going to we want to make sure that it turns this on so now we're going to make another message I know this is sort of funny that just says one because we know that the number one will always turn an X on no matter what and a zero will actually always turn it off so um, maybe we should just uh, duplicate this. I always option click on things, and then I'm going to put a zero here, knowing that we will at some point have to turn it off. Oh, look. Wait, I'll connect it just so I can be free. There's a zero over here. We don't need it. We already have one. OK, so let's just check that this works. Um, we'll lock our patcher and hit start. Indeed, the X turns on, it click, counts up to 10, and eventually it says bang. Now, it's fine to see this little thing go bang, but if you don't happen to be looking at it when it does it, you don't see anything. So let's learn a new object here as long as we're at it. Um, I just type the letter N and type uh, LED. I typed it in all caps, but that's okay. It still figured out what it was. And what the LED does is uh, when it gets a 1, it turns on, and when it gets a 0, it turns off. So um, let's give it a message of uh, 1 here. And there we go, there we go, there we go. And um, We'll need a way to turn it off eventually. Now we get to incorporate that zero. I should have saved that zero from up here, but I didn't. Uh, go ahead, type mess. M for message, Z for zero. Z for zero, no, just type a zero. Okay, let's just uh, verify that this works here. So when we hit a one, the LED turns on. When we hit a zero, it turns off. Very exciting. Um, and so we need something to trigger that zero and let's call it just for the sake of argument another message here uh, reset okay so we have start and we have reset reset's going to do this and myself let's just see if it works okay i lock my patcher i hit start this turns on, it counts to 10, this will flash, bink, that'll hit the 1, and that turns this on. Um, if I hit reset, um, then it will turn that back off. So far, so good. Let's try it, let's try putting it in a graphic unit user interface now. So we're, what we're going to do is unlock our patcher and we already put this in presentation mode let's put this hold the shift key down this and our LED in um, presentation mode so I've selected all of them I go over here to presentation whoops sorry um, include in presentation we click that box and they are all included now we actually go into presentation mode 
and we see that we have these things. So we have the timer, which we accidentally put down here. We'll go up here and say, it's a timer. It is 10 seconds. Here's where you push start. Here's where you push reset. And this is the thing that tells you that it's done. Okay, so there we go. Um, let's go ahead and see if our timer works. We're going to push start. Whoops, we can tell it's not going to work because it's not locked. Now we've locked it. We're going to hit start. And la ti da ti da So it occurs to me that it would be nice if there was something that showed us it was working. Oh, but it worked. Did you see that LED turn on? Fantastic. So um, what we want is something to show us it's working. We can reset it, but let's just check something here. If we change this then to, let's say, 30 seconds, this doesn't turn off. So when we change this, it should hit reset. And we, when we hit reset, it should be ready to start again. Um, so let's do those two things. Let's go back to patching mode, go back to unlocked, and we're going to include this blinking light. Uh, this is a button, not an LED. This is a button, and it is going to now be included in the presentation. And what was the other thing we were going to do? Oh, if, if this thing changes, it is going at all. It is going to, well, where's that trigger thing? All of these trigger it. So anything that you change here is going to hit this trigger, and that should be a bang to reset this. Whoops. I hate when it does that. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to hit Command-Y on this because I like it to be neat. Move that over and move that over. And now we're going to go back to presentation mode. Da, da, da. Here's our little blinker. And we can just put it up here. It's kind of like, hey, I'm working, I'm working, right? And that's where it's going to be. So let's go ahead and uh, lock our patcher and see how this is all playing out now. We're going to go to 10 seconds and we're going to hit start. Look, we've got our little devices working thing. I wasn't counting, but I have faith. Bonk. And if we hit reset and start again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, bam. Well, we have done it, people. We have made a timer that you can program for any number of things and that uh, 30 seconds or 10 seconds great and oh let's do another just uh, one more 10 second thing I just want to make sure of something five six seven nine ten okay if we change this to 30 does it reset Oh, it does. That's fantastic. And we can just hit reset if we want 10 seconds to work again. So our timer is functional. And in the interest of keeping these uh, videos relatively short, I'm going to say that's enough. And then I'm going to come back in the next video with just how to make it a little fancier. I'll see you soon. Patch well.